Hi guys, I'd like to start this video off and say addiction is a serious problem, okay? And if you're addicted to Subarus like we are, you are in the right spot because we have a shitload of them here right now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's one more missing. Seven, we have a problem. But you know what, I look at it, I actually look at it as solutions. We ain't got no problems. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So some of you may remember this Hawkeye uh, from like, it was like a month and a half, two months ago. Uh, did an engine resale for this guy, drove the car home, lower coolant clamp undid itself or came off. It was a worm gear, we don't like worm gears. Engine overheated, now we are replacing the engine for him. We're doing it free of charge. All he had to do is buy the parts for it. So now, let me give you a little backstory. I started shooting yesterday, really wasn't in the mood, so let me run through that footage real quick. All right, the boost controller's been replaced. All of the lines have been replaced with just some silicone lines for the time being. So let's do what we do best. Let's go try to get a log and see if we can get a clean wastegate pole with the boost controller hooked up this time and see if everything's good. If we get an overboost warning, that means that we have an issue. caught up we're also going to be swapping the fuel rails on the blue Baru today uh, to our new radium ones we're going to go out drive this thing a little bit later just for funsies i have to run to the shop to go drop off some evo parts when those get dropped off today but first i want to start tearing apart this hawkeye so this poor sob has an issue where the coolant expansion tank turns into a water fountain and just shoots all the coolant out. So the head gaskets did get fried on this shortly after the owner picked it up and started driving it home. Um, with this one, after he picks the car, or after we're done with it, we're gonna put about 20, 50 miles on it, somewhere in that range, just to make sure that everything is solid on it. Uh, so that way he doesn't run into any more issues. And then we're gonna go over all of the basics with him, covering what to monitor on this car. So I've shown you guys how to tear these, car, tear these cars down so many times now. Uh, intake's coming out, intake manifold's coming out, off, all the accessories are coming off, intercoolers coming out. We'll strip this thing down to a bare engine uh, and then yeet this thing out of here. So, start tearing this guy down.
All right, you guys, we are substantially in the future right now. So, uh, that Hawkeye, Matt and I got the engine taken out. We got it completely torn down. We have the new short block put together. We have the head set aside. We're dropping those off tomorrow. Um, just wanted to jet through that. Like I said, I've shown you guys how to tear these things down so many times. I'll link a video like right there if you're curious on how to pull the engine out, how to tear them down, things like that. Um, a package did get delivered that I wasn't quite expecting today, which is the big wing for the hatch. So I think we're gonna go ahead and throw that on and I'm gonna put off doing the fuel rails on the STI until tomorrow because I wanna see the hatch with a big wing. Now there's a lot of components to this. There's actually way more pieces. Than, how many pieces do we have? One, like two, three. Well, there's like eight or nine pieces to this wing. Project for me because I've always liked the GR hatches and I've always wanted this wing. Have you? On the hypothetical GR It's hatch. also Cameron. I don't know if you guys remember Cameron. Cameron's made a few appearances on the channel. Like when we did the hood latches on the STI and some other ones and we like tore the EJ out of this thing the first time at the old garage and camera did something oh that's another fun piece oh my god where does that go <laughs> i don't know we got a lot of fun pieces right here and it didn't come with any instructions but i feel like we're smart enough to where we can figure this out so um with this wing it's gonna be dope huh uh, so it should be pretty self-explanatory i think this wing's gonna come off which is only held in by like a couple tens and whatnot up in here so if I open this guy, I should be able to just like pop off this trim panel. What are you guys laughing at over there? Nothing. You guys nothing. should be pretty self-explanatory as I grab wires that lead to nothing. Uh, ow. Okay, so like this guy right here will pop off. Look at that. This guy here will pop off. Dude, we're already halfway done with this wing install. This guy here will pop off. I really wasn't expecting this video to take this turn. Uh, we've got our sprayer guy right here that I'll... I need to come in here and grab a pick. Not that pick, this pick. I have to undo the electrical connector in the hatch. Right there, which uh, is a little bit of pain, hold on. Boom, undone. And then there's gonna be a 10 right here on the end, a 10 right here on the end, one in here, and one in here. So let me get those off real quick and then we'll get this old wing off. Uh, so I think Cameron and Matt here are gonna put the little end plates on the carbon fiber blade here. That carbon fiber blade is dope. Matt, you wanna go out and get some cinematography of the hatch later? Yeet. Yeet. With the new wang and the bags. I need a front lip for this freaking thing. I need to open this tripod. Have you seen the nut man? Yeah. It's time for a succulent nut. Oh. I don't know if a lot of you guys at home watch TikToks. I like to, when I kill time, when I should be responding to comments, I watch TikToks. Which is, don't be like me. Don't do that, actually. Hey, Pull this guy right on out of here. You know, I'm really tempted to just throw this right now. Oh, that was so fast. Thanks, Cameron. So this piece comes off. You can play it like a guitar. You can play it like a harp. You can ride it like a broom. You can do whatever you want with this thing. I'm gonna set it aside though. Ah! Okay, it fell in a bucket of oil. Hella high quality. Right? This is the, it actually looks like a really high quality wing. Now, I need to get this sprayer guy, the windshield wiper sprayer guy, out of here. Oh, that's what that's for. Yeah, it's a windshield sprayer, the rear window sprayer. So I need to grab a small little flathead to pop that guy up. But I wasn't expecting because cool parts got dropped off. Courtesy of our friends at, oh yeah, by the way, thank you over to, thank you to the guys at JDM Muscle for sending this over. This thing's actually really dope. I got two little screw boys right here. Well, how else would I do? Well, I mean, normally I just grind it to the chassis and then put the... Well, oh, hit the damn brake. <laughs> it don't matter, though. Are you ready? Yeah. Is that it? Well, hold on. Let me check the other way. Oh, I'm on the wrong voltage one. Huh, dummy. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Oh, okay, so white boy is ground boy? White boy is ground boy. White wire with the black stripe will be your ground. The green with the white stripe is your power. So we're gonna, we're gonna end up just splicing these into the wire harness that came with our new brake light. Cause the ones on those are just red and black. So that's pretty easy to figure out which one goes where. Matt, what is the current dilemma you're having? Nothing. Okay, there's no dilemma you guys. Everything is going smooth. I do need to make up some JB Weld though. Or do we need to drill that hole bigger? I would drill it first. Wait, that thing's gonna fit on there. Step drill bit. It is. How does that mount on there? There's nothing. Why is there a hole here? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't go through either. Does it? No. We got JB Weld and a step bit. Uh, 
So you see the problem we're having is the sprayer guy for the rear window guy doesn't quite want to fit through the stock hole. So we had to oblong it a little bit. Is it closer? It's good. Do we need to JB weld this whole thing in? I don't, I don't know. They didn't really give you. There's no instructions with this. A way to get this to. So far, everything has been pretty smooth except for this window sprayer. Instant setting epoxy for 2300 PSI. But for tile, most plastic, ceramic, and glass. That should be fine, right? That looks great. They didn't give us any little tiny screws? No. No. The only small screws they gave us were. But I mean, there's like these tiny fucking. I think those are just molding too. screws or molding holes. So I don't know how they expect this to. I mean, you could honestly just put it in with 3M. Yeah, you probably could. Want to see if I have it? You want to put it on this? Probably. We're okay. putting the JB Whizzle on the Fushizzle? Just on the chamfered part. The tabs. Chamfer. Cameron, this looks like art right now, man. Wow. It's probably going to look like ass, but you know what? Nobody ever really Let's stares just... at a. Uh, a windshield sprayer? Yeah. Yeah. Just Let's just hope it doesn't burn the plastic. Why would it burn the plastic? Because I've used JB Weld on plastic before and it just burned the shit out of Dude, it. Dude, it says it's meant for most plastic. Watch this be the one type of plastic it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get JB Weld on my fingers. Hello. This is like VHB, very high bond. Oh. It's very high bond. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have to what? press it on for wow. four minutes. Though. What? Four minutes? Four minutes. I don't know why we decided to do this install right now, but we're committed. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? We got a big wing in. We, Cameron, you like big wings? Big wing gang. Big you know, gang. believe it or not, there's some people on the internet who don't like big wings. Big wing gang. To that I say huzzah. See, it got me too, man. <laughs> the canard got me too. So Cameron is getting the electrical connector doodads. I feel weird. This is like the first time I haven't worked on my car and I've just walked around filming. Well, you were eating, so. I was eating a burrito. So once those are on there, those little electrical connectors are like crunched down. We go ahead and get, well, I think we have to mount this entire piece up to this piece. So from the carbon fiber blade, you've got this guy, this little piece that kind of mounts on there. It's kind of like the little L bracket. Then you've got the actual side brackets and then you've got the other brackets that mount to the other bracket. There's a lot of brackets. I wouldn't even call them brackets. I'm so confused on why we have so many bolts. Like they gave us a lot of bolts. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need half of those. No, like they, it's like they reached into a container and they're like, here's a hundred bolts. Keep them if you want. Squeaky ass hat. <laughs> I like it. Oh my god, wow. Yeah, I think we should. When we go to wrap it, we'll throw some 3M tape down there. It's weird, yeah. there's less gap over there than there is this. Honestly, it doesn't look bad. Is it supposed to sit up higher? I think so. Like, it, there's definitely a step in it. Yeah. It look good, though. It's a good looking wing. Yeah, the paint matches exceptionally well. This is kind of a big gap. I don't, I don't remember how big the gap was prior, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I like it. It's look good. It look good from the back, big old wang. I like it. What you think, Cameron? Looks great. Does it? Number one approved. Does it actually look great? It looks good. It does look good, I like I think, it. I think you just need that 3M tape. Yeah, 3M tape the side. I'll, get, I'll order like some of that like super high bond strength stuff. Dude, you can't even see the windshield sprayer. We spent so much time on it. Hey, will you go hit the brake light for me? I'm gonna see what it looks like. With oh, you got it. Oh. Oh, damn, that looked good. That looks bright. That is bright. I like that. Hi you guys, it's the next day. I wanted to be able to show you guys the wing in the daylight. I gotta say, it looks really freaking good. It took me a little bit of getting used to it at first. I was a little impartial to it, but I, I do like it. If this is a wing that you guys want for your hatchbacks, like I said, I'll link down below JDM Muscle with a discount code for you guys if this is something you're looking for. Overall, I'd rate the quality like, I'd say like eight out of 10. Would you say that's fair, Matt? For quality yeah. eight out of ten is pretty fair the only like i said the only issue we really had with the wing was the rear washer sprayer it just 
it could use a little tweaks to make everything fit up nicely. We're all like super happy with the wing, man. Even like the carbon fiber in the sun just looks so freaking, like it's carbon fiber. Who doesn't like carbon fiber? The wing fits up nice. The panel gaps are a little large, but I, honestly, I, it's nothing to be like stressed or concerned about. It looks really good. Like fitment overall, I, I'm happy with it. I like it. I think it adds a nice like little stint of aggression that the hatch needed. The OEM wing looks good. Don't get me wrong, but this one, I think it looks even better. And the overall color match, it's really hard to show you guys like right in the sun. The overall color match is surprisingly spot on also. Like it's really hard to color match parts when you don't have a car to like blend them with. So, hey, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm digging it. I love it. And the wings got like two aggression points or like two adjustments points. They've got like these two screws up in there. There's one right there, one below it. So that way you can make the blade level if you wanted to, but I dig it. Now I also got another set of parts in for the hatch from our friends over at Rally Sport Direct. So if you guys are looking for any parts, uh, like I said, use my discount code SMEDIA over there. It'll save you guys some coin. We have a set of Group N STI engine mounts, white line rear lower control arms, super pro front roll center correction kit, which is needed, uh, a set of LED license plate bulbs because mine are halogen and they're both dead. Uh, we have one fender emblem. I forgot to order the second one, so I'll just order that today. We have a set of ARP case bolts, half inch head studs. These are gonna be going on our engine that we're getting back from out front soon. So we got some partying to do with the hatchback. Now over the next couple of days, we're gonna be fairly busy working on the cars. The STI and the WRX both go to the dyno next week. So the STI is gonna be trailered out there. I'm driving the WRX out there, so I'd like to get these engine mounts on, uh, the suspension components, realign the car, just to get it prepped and ready for the dyno, so that way obviously it drives in a straight line. Um, so, and the STI, I've gotta swap out the fuel rails. I have to make remake two fuel lines and iron out a couple smaller things with that, but both of these cars are going to the dyno on the same day. I am going to break it up into two videos, so you guys are gonna get the WRX dyno video first for the green speed compliant build, and then it's gonna be the STI video because obviously I have to save the best for last on the dyno runs. Uh, we have a lot of work in the next couple of days to get both of these cars both of these cars dyno ready. I gotta swap the spark plugs on the six cylinder and whatnot, so we've got a lot of stuff going on, so woo! I'm pumped, I'm excited. So. I think that's all I got for you guys on this one. I wasn't expecting this video to be the big wing install video on the WRX, but I'm pretty happy with it. I wasn't expecting that to show up for a little bit longer, so hey, it came early. So if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button, turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver sign, whatever color it turns for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be able to put it in one of these corners, no idea which one quite yet. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, homies.